All right, here we are for round two of Twitch Rivals $25,000 40-player arena tournament. The format is standard 2020, and we are playing a Golos Field deck. I'm sorry, not a Golos Field deck. A Yarok Field deck. Sultai, we are 1-0. Our opponent this round is Sho, and uh, Sho is playing Golos Fields. So, Golos Gates. Golos Gates Fields. These cards. Um, so... We're on the draw. Uh, we got a pretty decent hand here. We can keep this one. It's not great, but it's solid. Growth Spiral is pretty good. Um, don't know how this is going to go, honestly. Or should, I say, or should I say, I don't know how this is going to go los. Another Risen Reef? I think we were pretty interested in that. Yeah, we don't have many answers to Gatebreaker Ram. That is definitely true. But I think our end game is probably better than theirs overall. But Gatebreaker Ram does seem tough. And there you go. So that's that's the card we weren't looking to. Uh... Oh, we actually have Asian Treachery. We have a few gates. We steal it. All right. Um, we're just gonna crank the Risen Reefs. So, yes, yeah, stealing Gatebreaker Ram is cool. We have our own Guild Gate in play. Sure. Steal that, too. That was pretty good. Uh... <laughs> Hopefully, uh, everything's okay there. <laughs> That's a good one. Alright, so we're gonna say go. Um, we get the Growth Spiral on their turn. Maybe Mize a land and make, make some zombies, but. We're certainly way ahead on mana. I mean, if they have a, uh, a uh, circuitous route this turn, things get ugly. But if they don't, I think we're in really good shape. Four gates in play. Kind of a weird deck, because playing Gates and Field of the Dead means that you, like, you're playing so many paired-up Gates. It's kind of weird. Alright. Alright, so we're going to steal this Gatebreaker Ram. Um, right? We could play a 5-5, five, five, or we could play a 6-6 six, six crisis. I suppose that's not going to be big enough, though. Yeah, we're just going to steal a thing. Gates of Blaze, we're kind of in trouble. Two, 
four. actively want this to die so I can get it back with Cavalier. Problematic. Hey, Gatebreaker Ramp's really good. Oh, okay. Five. That's also pretty good. I mean, obviously Golos is pretty bad for us, but we can't just die to another sweeper. Well, I guess we do anyway. How many gates do I have now? I only have two. I only have one. Steal the ram, we're dead to the sweeper anyway. We steal Golos, we're not dead. We're pretty dead. Seven. Hit the fairy again, it really sucks, but like they're, they do have four to fairies in their deck. I guess. Um, all right. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a lot of tokens. Those are drawing a lot of cards, so. Two, three, four, five, six lands. They have exactly six for Gates of Blaze. <sighs> also have their own Agent of Treacheries. Just draw four cards. Ugh.
they're not playing Hydroid Crisis. That's interesting. Not cool. We're taking fifteen, eighty three. One reef, two reef, three reef, two spiral, two razor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gates. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, yeah, just cast it for ten. Let it green up. That sprout's not bad. And they're gonna probably get a rat next turn, but this crisis is pretty big. They can't gates a blaze it. They have 27 cards in their deck. We have 22. They have two agents total on their deck list. Fort of Fairy, Ram, Land, Land. That feels pretty good. They felt their best thing was to just fire off Golos. The best they can do is a Ram. I mean, you know, this Crisis is... I guess it's not probably going more, but... Alright, so they have a Wrath. Um... They have a rat, then why would they play the land first? Wait, what? I don't want that to block? Oh my god. How did that... I specifically didn't want this to block. I didn't click that. That's so fucking stupid.
why do the blockers move around when you click them? It's unbelievable. I specifically made it a 10-10 so it wouldn't die to Gates of Blaze, and I specifically didn't block with it. Alright, cool. Um... I guess we're getting Yarok. I cannot believe that. Don't play two rams. Great. Awesome. Unreal. Alright. I mean, we have this Death Sprout, which is pretty good. So if they try and sweep and then attack, we can make make three zombies anyway. Um, so we have five, and then four, and then Krasis for four. Or just Yarok, Route, and then Death Sprout. I think we're oh, let's see what happens. Oh shit, it's like the land too. Oh man. Right, so I've punted this game twice over now. I can't I can't believe it. I took the basic island out of my deck, so now my desperate doesn't do anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking lose it. Alright. That is I probably should have won that game twice over. I don't know. I don't know how good, I don't know how good their hand was, but all right. Thank you, Arena, for that. I really appreciate that. All right. So their sideboard is two sample stroke and not much else. I uh, don't really want much here. The rest hits Gates of Blaze, Guild Summit, Deferi, Clarion, Route. Maybe we're interested in the rest. cut a land and a grazer for two dress. That's good.
I mean, that's too many. Finish the bottom one of them. Three gates. Kind of a stroke. Maybe just double reef. It's two stroke in the sideboard. Play that. It's pretty good. If they stroke this, I'm pretty happy. No, that was pretty quick. It's okay, so no stroke. put basically our entire deck into play next turn. Double Gates Blaze. Currently have only three gates. Seerok will live. Hmm. Play Reef, get six triggers. Six triggers is a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Actually, just attack because they're just definitely gonna gate the blaze next turn. Well, when you draw six cards, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I could have maybe held one of the lands in my hand. It's fair. Greenland. Lol. Yes, they have a field of blood. Gates ablaze. This is 24 power. I guess Blather Cavalier. Yeah, I should not put second cavalier. Stupid. Also, this also might be dead too. Not that I've milled so many cards, the ravage might not do anything. Yeah, I should have held one. That's bad. I mean, two gates of blaze are gone. They have two gates of blaze and two deafening clarions. We know most of their hand, so if they hit it, they hit it. I also get to buy back two things. Miss, please. Alright, so. I only played that game very well, but thankfully we have a shot for game three, so. <sighs> Need to stop being mad about the first game. Um, man, thanks for the sub. What's so, my friend? Welcome. What's your name? Where are you from? This is all fun. All right.
That ant's pretty bad. You can't keep this one. Not ideal, not ideal. Um, your breeding pool untapping next turn. Let's read the skill gate. Hit land, please. So double whammy, uh, no fourth land. All right. Um, let me just ship Crisis here. Wouldn't mind if they missed on land this turn, I'm not gonna lie. This up is Manny from San Diego, playing some Magic and Theros. If your card is Corsair of Crufix, Saber Deck, Modern Adrazi, for the ban. Manny, we're actually going to be in San Diego for TwitchCon pretty soon. So maybe we'll see you there. Nicole and I are going TwitchCon. Do we already have a Watery Grave in play? Uh, no. Uh, we only have one swamp in our deck. I guess you want the swamp. It's gonna draw unique because we keep the, keep the unique lands going. Yeah, they found their uh, found their fourth land. Thanks, little Debbie. And I think we're in pretty good shape here. So, yeah, we just field Cavalier, let me up blue green. Now we currently have field one, two, three, four, five. We have six different types. We take field here, it doesn't do anything. Whereas if we take watery grave, we could put it in untapped and then growth spiral too. That's pretty good. So, I mean, despite our mulligan to five, um, opponent missing the third and the fourth and fifth turn land drops is probably enough. Uh, with only three gates in play, I think we're uh, I think we're good here.
want to really see what possible outs are here, realistically. Just like two five sixes, eleven life. Yeah, Field of the Dead is going to be one of the most important cards post rotation. That's right, so the Gates of Blaze, which is fine. And then they're just dead. So. So I feel pretty fortunate to have won that match. I mean, we multi five in game three and on the draw, and they just missed their land drop for two turns. A quick word about arena and moving blockers. Um, I've complained about this for a while. I do not understand why arena feels the need to move your blockers around when you click blockers. You once you make a block, it like slides things over here and slides things over there, and, it's, and when there's a lot of things in play, it is so easy to misclick. For those who missed game one, I accidentally blocked with a 10-10 Krasis, which I specifically made a 10-10 and not blocked with, so it wouldn't die to Gates of Blaze. And then all of a sudden, it was just blocking. So I meant to block with a zombie, but things moved around, and I just didn't see it. And um, there's some click lag, too. Who oh boy. Um, one of the most important things also, I think, is when you make a mistake in a tournament. Even In this case, it's like more of a, a, a program error than a mistake, which makes it 10 times more frustrating. It's really important to shake it off and just keep playing. I don't, don't think I've ever did a very good job of that this match. Um, because it's one of the hardest things to do, honestly, in playing Magic. And it's different when it's something that's out of your control. Um, you know, if you make a mistake, alright, I made a mistake. Gotta keep going. But, ugh. It's annoying that blockers move, block lines get in incomprehensible if they don't move. Maybe. I, I don't know. Whatever it is right now, it's just not as clean as it should be. But... Thankfully, we got a little lucky in Game 3 there and won the match and didn't lose the match because of it. So I think we probably had that Game 1, but... One thing is <sighs> certain, subbing to you isn't a mistake. Thanks, Nine Ball. I appreciate three. it. So, we're now 2-0. Uh, Twitch Rivals, Round 3 is coming up.